This week I'm going to show you how to make a custom looking desk using just IKEA pieces. It's not complicated at all and you don't need to be a huge DIYer. Hey, it's Hannah. I'm going to be building a shared desk station in my kid's room. It's like a really tiny room. It's 10 by 10. They've already got a bunk bed that I built. So we have this really small wall that we can work with. And there's two of them. So I have an eight year old and a five year old and they're going to share this desk station as their kind of like homework station. And when you watch this video, you'll see you could just do like a very basic transformation if you just wanted like legs and a tabletop. But I'm actually gonna like really amp it up and make it look really custom because like we gotta give it that oomph, right? We gotta make it look really good even if it's just for the kid. Hey, I'm Hannah. I'm a mom who taught herself how to use power tools. And now I'm teaching you how to transform your home with budget projects. I was pretty surprised when my eight-year-old son asked me to build a desk for him, but I thought it'd be a great idea because he needs a homework station that's not our dining room. The first thing I did was map this out using painter's tape. It's an inexpensive way to make sure that your scale is correct. All right, we're starting to assemble the Alex drawers. Um, I've got my kids all helping me, so this is really fun, and I think it's great to get them involved because it's gonna be their room, right? So let's get them doing it. Just takes a lot of patience. I'm using two Alex units as the legs for this desk. There's two things I love about this unit. The first one is that it's already the perfect height for a desk, so you don't need to make any adjustments. The second is that there is a ton of storage in this. So I picked the option that has like five drawers. There's another option as well that has a deeper drawer, but either way, it's just easy to build and it just provides the perfect legs for a desk with storage. I bought the white units. I was kind of unsure when I started this project whether I was gonna paint it or not, but they also come in a few different colors. But if you are gonna paint it, stick with the white units. I also got two chairs from Ikea. The main reason I got these was because they would match with the bunk bed in this room, but I think they're actually really great for the kids. They also come with armrests if you want to. I struggled a bit with how I should actually configure the Alex drawer units. I wasn't sure if I should put them on the ends, which was way more aesthetic, or if I should put them in the middle so that the kids' elbows wouldn't bump, in, bump into each other. A lot of people said that they should really have their own space, but I wanted to keep it more aesthetic. In the end, I kept it more aesthetic and I like the look of the units on the end. Initially, I'd actually bought a countertop to put as the desktop, but when my husband and I tried to bring it upstairs, it was so heavy and we live in a townhouse. So I opted to use a piece of plywood instead. It was an eight foot piece of plywood and I cut it down to size and then I stained it. And it, this was much lighter and easier to bring upstairs. Okay, so we've got the bottom part of the desk station set up and you could totally stop here if you wanted to, but I'm gonna add some vertical storage here with the IKEA Kallax units. So there's gonna be one for each kid and then maybe I might do something across the top here too. You could totally make your own cabinets, but when IKEA makes things that are so easy to assemble, I feel like this is just the easiest way to go. And then you can actually enhance them and make them look better. So these Kallax units are really easy to assemble. Um, I made two of them, one for each side. And then I brought them over to my kids' room and I placed them right on top of the desk. Uh, I built one Kallax unit and it's gonna go from this end, basically three quarters of the way. And then I need to cut down my other unit so it fits in this corner here. I'm cutting down this Kallax unit using my table saw. You could also use a circular saw. And I actually found out that this is kind of like a hollow shelf, which is fine, it's still cut fine, but I just had to make sure that what I cut it to was a multiple of one of the sizes of the cube so that it looked uniform. And as I'm assembling this, I'm thinking it's just so darn cute because it's just a little collax unit. And I double checked the measurement before we put it up just to make sure it would fit fine. Thank you. 
I had a lot of confidence in my measurement that when I would make the full unit, they would just come together perfectly seamlessly. Um, I measured it like so many times that I would be shocked if it didn't. And luckily when we dry fit it, it was perfect. Now I also need to mount these units, so I put up a support bar here just to help us to kind of hold the weight of the two cabinets while we're drilling and mounting them into the wall. One thing that's gonna make your life a lot easier, if you pre-mount all the brackets that go on your coax unit, when you're standing up on the ladder, it's really hard to mount them into the unit and the wall. So just save yourself the trouble and at least get them half mounted into the unit first. I mean, this is really starting to come together. This is when I got really excited that this vision that I had of mine would come together. I also have to tell you the story about these doors. I had to remove the closet doors because there was no way for the doors to open once the desk would be installed. So after I removed them, we stored them underneath our mattress because in a small home, where else am I gonna store things I don't need? And instead I installed curtains, but the internet hated them. On my social media, people just hated them. So then I actually decided to remove them and come up with a different solution. Lucky for me, my mom had these sliding panels lying around in her basement. They actually used to go on her patio door and she didn't want them anymore. And they were the perfect size, the right length, exactly for this closet door. I like these a lot better than the curtains. I think the colors flow a lot nicer in this room because the curtains just stood out too much and it looks a lot more seamless. I really thought my kids could benefit from some organization of like their papers, their colorings, their homeworks. So I got these little organizers for Kallax. Now what's really cool is there's actually so many different types of organizers. You can get drawers and you can also get doors and there's like X units. So um, like you can really customize it in a lot of different ways for lots of different functions. This is one of the reasons I want to use the IKEA system for this desk. There's just different ways that you can customize it. And I like that this will help the kids keep their papers organized. Jumping back to the desk, we have a few more things to do to finish it off. So today we're gonna be adding the molding up here. Um, I'm gonna be just using the molding that I have left over. So the gap's actually really big and it's 10 inches wide, you know, the distance at the top there. So there's no molding that's that wide. So I decided to stack two different moldings that are five inches wide each. So I cut them down to size. I also used a bevel cut so that the edges would be nice and flush instead of just having a straight cut. To attach the molding, I need the molding to actually hold into something. So I mounted a piece of two by four. This is a scrap two by four that I had lying around in my garage. It has to be mounted half an inch back from the front of the Kallax unit or whatever thickness your trim is. Otherwise the trim will not sit flat with the Kallax unit. And then I used wood screws and I screwed upwards. So from the inside of the Kallax unit, I screwed upwards into my two by four. Having a clamp is really helpful because naturally that wood piece on top wants to lift up, but you can keep it down with the clamps. Now it's easy to attach this piece of trim to the two by fours that I've attached. I can simply nail it right in. I also want to add some decorative molding so that it had just a little bit more oomph. So I had this leftover chair rail um, from a different project, but I decided to nail this first onto the flat trim and then mount this up onto the desktop. I also want to add some visual interest to the back of the desk area, but I didn't want to spend the money on shiplap because shiplap is a little bit expensive. So I had foreign trim lying around, so I decided I would just use that. Uh, and I used um, a nickel as a spacer in between to give that look of shiplap. And I just nailed it into the back of the desk area. Okay, once you get done installing the last one, you can always measure and mark it, but I actually think it's easier to um, place your board here because then you can get like the actual measurement and then you mark where you wanna cut it and we'll rip this down with my table saw. I did all the finishing work like painting, so I painted the trim, I painted the back of the desk, and I also caulked all the seams. 
One really cute addition was that I added these brass sconces and these are actually USB powered. So I love these because you don't need any electrical. You don't need to hire an electrician. You simply screw them into the wall and then they recharge with a USB. So you can pull them off your wall to recharge them. So that's great for some overhead light because the desk area isn't this bright. If you remember when we started this project, it was just a blank space and my kids desperately needed a space to do their homework. I just gotta style it and then I can't wait to show you the reveal. I want this to be beautiful, but because it is a kid's desk, I want them to have some of their cute touches too, like their stuffed animals and their books too. So I did some fun styling and I can't wait to show you how this looks when it's all done. I absolutely love how this desk space came together. I know that this is a desk that my kids will love and they will use all the time. And I also like how easy it was to put together using just Ikea pieces. I didn't have to spend a lot of time making shelves or making drawers. And everything in here is so functional. It's functional for their age group since they are young kids. I even labeled some of the drawers so that they knew exactly what goes in there. So when I first started to build this, I was a little bit concerned that this wouldn't be enough space for two people, but it totally is. Like if I'm here, you could totally imagine someone else sitting here. And this is for my kids, so they're a lot smaller than me too. So one of the things I really love in the space that we did was add this picture frame lighting. So it adds a lot of light when you're actually working. And these are great because they're battery powered. So if the battery dies, you just pull it off and you can charge it with a USB charger or you can actually just connect the cord right in there. And uh, they've got these little remotes, so it's like super easy to use. And if you want, you can also tap them on. Great, right, isn't that so cool? And they can also go on a timer. So like my kids are very forgetful. So if I turn it on for them, I can just set it for like one hour and it will just turn off. So the remote is like super cool too. There's one more thing that I wanted to add to this kids workspace because this is like my dream workstation, but we want to make it fun to the kids. I got these like spikes. And so yeah, right now you can see their color changing. You can also have them on solid color and just set them for one color. So I just thought this was something fun to make it, you know, more like a kid's face. So as you can see, this is so cool. And um, I really love the way it looks. Like it's just so fun. Is this not just one of the most beautiful workspaces you've seen? And it's for kids. Like I am super jealous that this is not for me, but for my two boys who are eight and five years old. I hope you love this video. And as you can see, it is such an easy build. A lot of it is just assembling all the Ikea pieces and then figuring out how you can make it look really custom and built in in your space. So I hope this video gave you a ton of ideas. And if it did, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time for more budget DIYs.